Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, and today coming to you with a video by the Leak Project called Giant Skeletons Craziest Landscape on the Planet Fantasy Canyon, and they are right. That is some weird looking stuff. Now, I got tipped off to this by literally half a dozen or more people look into this what do you think it is because this is very very interesting and I have never posted anything about anything like this because I really have never seen much of anything like this there's one uh, a feral woman's head or something or a phoenix head or something uh, somewhere in the Middle East that has these crazy looking things but let's go uh, right to the beginning and I I'm going to tell you uh, this is how I do my thinking I'm going to just speak of how because I really here, let me just explain to you something I really didn't even look at this hardly other than I looked at it really quickly I was kind of lost I went up to Google Earth and I could see what it was from there so let's this is the way I started thinking when I'm looking at I'm seeing this and I'm thinking wow what is this maybe these are tendon balls that are down in here under because there's a lot of tendon balls we all know that but then I saw all these little grainy things all over and they look virtually all the same they look like marbles that I didn't understand at all, and I still don't. <laughs> now, you come up here, and I'm seeing these tied in up into these structures, and I'm thinking, are they supporting something? Are those tendon emphasis points? All right? Because we all know, let me open this up big. We all know that the tendons come up, and they, they you get a, a, a mineralized look like this, but normally it's a reddish material from flesh and so forth going into a whitish material which is the mineralized CaCO3 that ends up going into well I'm, I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm sorry it, it comes up in straps of whitish material which is the tendon straps fully mineralized tendon straps then it goes into a a mix between mineralized stuff that holds on to flesh that goes into the red flesh and then you get like layers of muscle straps and then the red flesh in between it and that's when you're really into the full muscle so it's white it's a gnarly looking stuff like this as a mineralized white and then it's it goes into the red flesh in a in a strappy pattern of red stripes and um and that clearly is not this so i'm saying this is not that <laughs> all right so I keep looking, I'm looking, I'm thinking, these, you know, these pock marks, and they're just flat against each other, and then, and then I look, and I thought, maybe that's a hair, because hairs have, like this, they, they have this kind of stuff, but not quite that gnarly, and so I knocked that out, then I'm looking at this, and it's looking almost like bones, and the guy said that, he says, this looks like, and he did a nice job, you know, I, a little bit slower on some of them would have been nicer, but I can always stop it, so it's not an issue. Now, but it's all this same material, and I cannot account for this, so I'm sort of lost at this point. And um, and, and I know it's a, it's, a, it's a mud file, so what it is at this point, I have no clue. And I'm seeing these features here, and I, wow, this is something very, very, very strange. And uh, so... At this point, I went, I went up to about 2.13, I saw some blood, let me see, and then I stopped around there, all right, so here we go, there it is right there. Now, that's the only blood I could find in the whole thing, so there's, there's almost no blood here, well, what is it doing? You know, where did all the blood go, because I don't see anything in the body that doesn't have blood, and I can't find the blood source, so I don't see any real blood vessels I've seen a lot of holes in there but I don't think they're blood vessels so anyway uh, I'm gonna take it from here we're gonna go to Google Earth okay so at this point I decide I gotta look in and see what's going on from outer space so here I am and I am at um, 1738 miles above the earth looking down uh, and here I am looking at Fantasy Canyon. So the first thing I always do, and you should, as I'm, I'm showing you how to look for stuff. That's all. I'm going to teach you how I look, and you can think it is however you want to think. But you got to look for clues. And where's the clues? What do I see here? Well, there's smoking guns all over. It's like Syria. Look at this. There's blood here. Look at these two little green legs. I know what they are. You'll know what they are soon, too. 
and then you can look at it, all this architecture here let's see what, what we got here so we'll go let's go down to the fantasy canyon and see what's going on here and when you come down in here you look and you see look at all this stuff that that's not really normal and then you start coming in here where fantasy canyon is and you see all these dots all over here and you think what the heck is that well i can tell you what that is that's gas and fracking those are oil wells and fracking and that's not a really what I would consider a good thing. Now, there's Fantasy Canyon over here where they were walking around looking all that crazy stuff. You see all that crazy looking stuff? Well, I'm looking at this and then I come out of here a little bit and I look down here and I say, well, why is it going from here into something like this? And look at how interesting that is. And look at these interesting ball patterns. You see that? That's all little plants growing there, but they're growing in, in like somebody planted them. They're, they're in, you know what I mean? They're not like just some here and then some over here. They're, they're, there's an obvious separation of materials. Let me put it that way. This is the white stuff here. Then you go into this totally different material. Then you go into this totally different material. That is not natural. That's not what well, I mean. It is natural, but it's not what you would... It's not the way it should be. Let me put it, if, if it... If we follow the patterns of what they... Oh, this is how the Earth developed. No. How, you explain that to me. No, I can explain it. They can't explain it. And I can tell... I, and I know what even the materials are. I, you know, once I look at something, it's, it's, it becomes obvious because everything was alive. So here, we're looking at all this stuff and we got all these things flowing down and what are they doing here? They're flowing down into somewhere. And then you get over in here and there's all kinds of other things going on in here. And I don't know what they are to be for... And I don't know what kind of creature it was. I know this was a kidney. And I can show you why I can say that. So we go back up here from Fantasy um, Canyon, and we're going up through here, and we can look and see there's an area where everything is fed. And I have to find it again, because um, I just looked at it really quickly. But it's, it's, it's to do with these um, two green... Oh, here it is, way over here. All right, so this is, this is a huge, 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 <laughs> huge creature, wherever it was. Because these two lakes deal with the kidney getting rid of the, the salt in the kidneys. And this has something to do with the kidneys, the excretion area of the kidneys. And everything collects here, and then it runs down into where that collection area was, where it, it ended up going in through that filtration device, which was all that stuff sticking up in the air, all of this stuff. All right, it filtered through there, and that's how it got, it's, it, it, it filters right through there, and somehow it pulls back out the, um, the, uh, the water, and it removes the salt. And I, I mean, I don't know how it does it, but the, the chemistry is all here. I can see it. I can see the chemistry, because these two lakes, these, this is, these are salt. This is all salt stuff. You see it here? I know they must be making salt out of this. And that is what they call natron. It's, and this one here, and that, and that is, these are the bile ducts. It has something to do with bile and the natron. These colors, I see them regularly. And I'm going to show you where, and they're also in creatures that don't have normal excretory systems. They have what's called a cloaca in a, in a uh, they're normally birds. But this is in a, uh, a different creature, and you're going to be interested to see it, I'm sure. Now, this stuff here is where everything collects. You see it? And it ends up collecting all through this area, and it runs into, down into here, into here, where it does its filtration. And then the water somehow comes back, and whatever, however that the rest works, but there's some bloody stuff in here, and that is the bile ducts. All right, see this? This is this is around that Fantasy Canyon area. You see how absolutely crisp the lines are around these different materials. That's a, a road or something, I believe. Well, let's back it out here. But you can see, you see all these little tiny dots. It looks like somebody took a dot maker and <laughs> dots all over just these brown areas. 
the other words, there's absolutely nothing, not a single thing growing. Well, that tells me that these particular plants are are very adaptable to saline conditions because I'm sure there's still plenty of salts here. First of all, that's one thing. And secondarily, these dots are where there is blood tissue available because the blood is what things grow on. And look, look at this. You see those dots? And they go back to this whole area back in here. So whatever this, that, that chemistry is, is, it's part of the bo body. And this is all that fantasy canyon here. And I kept, looked at it over and over, and it is no question, well, in my mind, it's no question that it's an uh, excretory system of the uh, you know, urinary tract. But there's a lot more that would have to be looked at about this, but it seems that that's what it is to me. Now, this is strange. I, mean, I, I, I don't know what to say about this, but I'm going to show you what I see. You can make up your own mind. All right, I'm seeing something that looks like that the head of a, a creature or in this case I think it might be a penis and that is uh, something coming out of the tip of the penis and this is uh, it appears to be extended from a foreskin area here and then this coming back up here you see it coming back up here this and then there's something leading down through it all the way to the end here now coming all the way back up here it ends up going back to where our fantasy canyon kidneys are so I don't know if it has any reality here but that's what it I don't know I'm just seeing what I'm seeing I'm trying to put the pieces together and there was giant creatures here that constructed this world all right, same kind of um, getting rid of the water and the salts, different creature. Now, all up in here is where the, the stuff is driven down through the bile duct area. Now, you see that same kind of green stuff? You see how nasty that green stuff is? See that coming down in there? That's the bile duct area. Now, this is not the same as the other creature we saw. This is, um, and, and this is all salt, same thing. And it leaks out of here, all through, and it comes down, watch where it ends up. Because this is a cloaca, and a cloaca is in a bird. So here we go, it's coming down here, it had collected, coming down here, all down through this here, into this area here, which is the, the cloaca, where it gets ready to expel its stuff. And look at this, this is, completely populated where and they, well it's they're growing they're growing stuff in the bird guano all right you hear that it said that is the bird guano that we just saw where it came from and I'm saying that is the cloaca of a bird and here it comes and it dumps into here and then it expels itself right out to here that is where that expelled itself as it died you see that it's up here it's here this is the legs of this creature and this creature is a dragon and I've shown it over and over and over and there's the dragon's head All right. let me turn them a little bit so that you might as well get to see this I know some people haven't seen this but if you've been with Mud Fossil University here at all you've seen this many times so there's the dragon there's the fluty stuff on a the dragon, there's the dragon's flary eye, there's the dragon's back, there's the dragon's scaled throat, there's the dragon's stuff he spits all over at the fish that's underneath. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, it's just a fact, I can't help it, there's the fish. Alright, so you're going to have to go up and look at this stuff, because it's all real, it's not, I'm not making any of this stuff up, it's right in your face, go up to YouTube, I mean, uh, Google and look at it, but anyway, there's the dragon's scaled throat, and over and over and over. And there's this fluty little stuff, and there's his dragon scales, and it goes down 900 miles through his body, and they're all dragon scales, 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 all the way down into that area. And this is his effluent, decaying body that's, that's rotting away, laying on the top of the desert, not the, the deep under the desert. This has not happened that long ago. And he's biting that fish. That's all I can tell you. 
And I know what Atlantis is down to here too. <laughs> it's just what it is. You just all you gotta gotta do is look. It's really starting to get silly because you know I've been showing this stuff for years. And nobody pays any attention. It's like I'm talking in the woods or something. Anyway, so that's the dragon. That's how you. Uh, that's why I can say that the Fantasy Canyon is is also a kidney system. And that's from Mud Fossil University. And I have other ones I could show you more. And maybe I will, but I probably won't. All right, here's Lake Natron. I decided I would show you one more because this was spectacular. That's Lake Natron, and they used all of the stuff that comes out of there, the salty stuff, to uh, embalm the um, pharaohs and all that stuff with it. And uh, this is in Egypt. The other one, of course, was in the United States. Now, same thing here. It's all filtering down, filtering down, and it's feeding into this kidney right here. That's the kidney. I mean, this one here looks like a kidney. There's the kidney. It all filters down. You see it coming down, coming down, coming down from every which way. It filters into here. There's the kidney. Now the kidney feeds into the bile duct. I mean, you can, anybody can see that if they know what a kidney looks like. And it feeds into the bile duct. You see the same nasty looking stuff that it did on the other one going into the bile duct area. And here's all that nasty green stuff. And that feeds into this nasty area. And that feeds into this nasty area. Now, that is the whole nature of your <laughs> urinary tract. I can't help it. That's what it is. I didn't make this up. I didn't make this up. That's what it is. So that is another uh, urinary tract area. And this is um, another creature over here somewhere. And it's all this red stuff is from body parts and, and decaying. That's it. That's it. All right, so anyway, come up here to Mud Fossil University. That's the place you want to come to find a reality. Okay, because you need a re on your reality. And here it, we're going to turn a desert into the new Corn Belt. All right? They are planting stuff in the desert. This guy's a hero. It's time to really pay attention to this stuff. They took the desert and they, they went out here and they... Uh, they came up with a new chemistry to do this. And it was fabulous results. And I understand this because it's the mud fossil chemistry. All they're doing is putting the stuff that eroded out back in. Simple as that. And I have another video coming up about that, but I won't include it on this one. But this is fabulous. I have a person I'm working with. Well, I have several of them, actually, that um, want to do this around the world. And what they need is a source of water and that is what this new video is going to be about because I, I speak about it in here there is a lot of chemistry I get kind of geeky at the end about the chemistry but there is a lot of chemistry and the water may actually be able to be gotten almost for free because salt water I think anyway I'm getting way off on this watch the other it's coming up later but not on this video alright Mud Fossil University Roger over and out